two universities separated by 65 miles. A rivalry 115 years old. Devin Gardner leads the Wolverines and the Big Ten in total offense. A third generation Spartan named Bulla leads the nation's top ranked defense. A game that can separate brothers. Michigan. Michigan State. And a battle for the Paul Bunyan Trophy is next. A sold out Spartan Stadium in East Lansing, Michigan. A battle between number 21 and number 22. Michigan against Michigan State. And Mark D'Antonio is four and two against Michigan. And that says a lot in these parts. You can just feel this one in the air when these two teams get together. And here we go. A yard deep, Northlake will bring it out. And he's not going to get to the 20 yard line. The power is to the left side right now. And that's the way they will run. Toussaint had to get over his own man and no gain on the play. Nice job by the Spartan defense. Second down and 10. Gardner in trouble and down he goes. First sack of the ball game. Danico Allen and Shalik Calhoun. I think they, you got to think half the yardage here, Brad, because I think they're out of field goal range. Get half and you're in four down territory. Gardner this time steps up. Now he's going to have to run and he's going down again. Loss of about a half yard on the play. Darquez Denard, the captain of the defense. Last week he was uh, almost perfect 15 for 16 yep. through three touchdowns no interceptions and he gives them a little more mobility at the quarterback position i think that's what kind of won him the job his ability to extend plays and they also have some design quarterback runs with him and you saw andrew maxwell with a headset on on the sideline here's cook wanting to throw on first down flushed from the pocket throwback got a wide open fullback and pendleton and he's got room to run pendleton Rumbling down the sideline. Inside the 30 to the 26 yard line on the first play of the ball game, 49 yards. Geiger, Geiger in for the field goal attempt to 40 yards to try to tie it up. From the right hash, Geiger's kick is perfect. To back 100 yard games against Minnesota and Penn State. This time. Tawan Jones with a sack. They cover up the gaps in the running game. They tackle well in space. If you're going to play with linebackers on the field and bigger bodies, you better be able to play in space with those guys and tackle well. Number they one do. in just about every category, yeah. including leading the country in defense. And they'll be coming here third down and ten. Gardner wants to throw back, and there's nothing to throw back, and he's going to go down. Calhoun with a big play. Second sack of the ball game. Second down, 17. And holding was on Kyle Bosch, a true freshman making his first start of the season. Gardner in trouble again, going down again. Shalik Calhoun again. And on this third and long, I would expect a draw or a screen or something safe and punt the football. Third time they've been in third and ten or longer, and you saw that graphic earlier. Two-thirds of the time, Michigan State puts you in this spot. Third and six or longer, and it's going to be longer again. Ed Davis with the sack. Fourth of the first quarter by Sparty's defense. Michigan State's only first down came on that first play from scrimmage on that throwback to the fullback. They're looking for one here on third and 15. And they've got one. Tony Lippett, first down Spartans. Third down and seven. And only one third down conversion, and that was on that last pass by Cook. Crossing route again. Benny Fowler, first down again. Geiger hit his first field goal. This one will be from 44 yards out. And Michigan State regains the lead. 
Flapping his hands. Up there, the top of the screen, the snaps over Gardner's head, and he got back on top of it, but way back at the 30-yard line. It's a three-point game. It's second and long. Don't take any unnecessary risks with the football. Try to get part of it back. He'll try to do it with his own legs. Got a blocker in front, but it didn't help. Nice job defensively by Curtis Drummond. Gardner in trouble. Down he goes again. Fifth sack of the first half. Following the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, 77 offense. Half the distance for goal, fourth down. Lawan with a penalty, and now Michigan's going to be way back kicking from their own end zone almost. But he really hurt his team right there. He's lucky he's still in the ball game after that one. Fourth and 48. Not sure how many of those we've had this year. First time that either team has been in the red zone. Third down and two. As Todd said, Gardner a running threat on third down, but nothing doing against the Spartans defense. Danico's Allen was the first guy there, and then he got help from his friends and a loss of eight. Lost one down the sideline. This one's caught by Benny Fowler. First down, Spartans. Beautiful throw. Cook scanning the field. Again, throws into coverage. This time it's caught by Price. <laughs> Whoa, he caught it twice. Yeah. Way clock down to five. Cook in the shotgun. Crossing route again. He's got a first down throw to Tony Lippett. Nice job recognizing the blitz. Connor Cook saw it. He changed the play. He got good protection. And against the blitz with man coverage, crossing routes become at a premium. They don't take a timeout. They do take a snap. Pump fake. Going to the corner of the end zone. Fowler got it. Touchdown. What a drive by the Spartans. And now we got a little chippiness going on again and again. Lawan is involved, and he's going to be lucky if he makes it through this ball game without getting tossed. The umpire is going to walk him out to midfield. Halftime in East Lansing, as you can hear the crowd, they're loving what the Spartans are doing to the Wolverines so far. In a lot of ball games, and especially for the Spartans who scored late in the second quarter. Good looking drive going here. It continues. Gleiker on the catch and a pickup of 18. 35 yard attempt. And he's got another one. As Todd said, 10 point lead when you got the number one defense in the country. Not too bad with 9.54 to go, third quarter. Connor Cook lofts one near sideline. Nice play on the football. Might have gotten away with a push off, but lip it with the catch. That was in the final 25 seconds of the second quarter. And they got something working here. Langford, big run for Langford. His best of the day. A 17-yard pickup. The 11th play of the half for Michigan. They have 15 total yards. But as Todd said, a great opportunity at the Spartan 41. Gardner keeps it. Reverses his field. He's not going to get away, I don't think. No. Nope. Isaiah Lewis and a loss of five. You can't backpedal and you can't dance against this defense. Can't get anything positive going on first down, as Todd's been telling you. And it's not changing here. Here comes a blitz. Gardner turns around and down he goes again. They lead the Big Ten in every defensive category there is. They're showing us why right now. Six, Third and 25. Six offensive linemen in to try to buy some protection. It didn't buy him anything. And again, scuffle at the end of the play as Gardner's on the bottom of the pile again. 
Here's Spartans now, extra linemen and extra tight ends. But they'll throw out of this formation, out to the fullback Pendleton. And that's his second big reception of the day. The first one, the first play of the ball game. And now a 13-yard pickup on that one. So third down and 12, they got to get to the 22-yard line for a first down. Michigan thinking about a blitz. And they will bring one. Cook's in trouble. And he got it complete anyway. The Fowler. Fowler dragging Wolverines down to the 10-yard line. Third and goal at the one-yard line. And again, Cook has some run ability also from the quarterback position. Here he comes. And did he make it? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Michigan State. That might be the dagger right there. But there's still 10 and a half to play. At the 15 of Michigan State. Michigan with a desperation drive. Gardner dropped the ball on the play fake. And Bullet was right there to make sure he couldn't pick it up. 30 straight possessions. Michigan State's gone without giving up a touchdown. Trying not to give up one here. Second and 15. Throw is intercepted. They won't give up one there either. Darquez Denard. This was supposed to be a back shoulder throw. It's man-to-man -man coverage, bump and run. And so you throw this short to the back shoulder. Blitz coming on third and long. There's a little trick play, and it's a big one. R.J. Shelton. Shelton across midfield before they can finally track him down. Two minutes and 51 seconds remaining in the ball game, and Michigan out of timeouts. So this would be the death knell on a third down if they pick this one up. Langford taking it to the corner. He's got the first down and a whole bunch more. Cuts back inside the 20. He's gone. Touchdown. Ball game. Michigan State. The team that rushes the best wins the series. 40-yard touchdown, longest of the season for Langford. And that'll ice it for the Spartans. In fact, a career-long run for number 33. Geiger's extra point is good. Might be the last chance here for Michigan. Morris has time, running out of time, and trips and gets to the line of scrimmage, and Michigan State takes over. And now the fans in the stands know the inevitable is at hand. And there's the final snap. And the celebration begins. The 106th meeting and the Paul Bunyan trophy that goes with it is coming back to East Lansing. Disappointment for the number 21 team in the country that won't be number 21 anymore after they're beaten soundly 29 to 6 as we check in with Holly. You know, to be honest with you, I kept telling them all week, keep the line in the cage. You know, don't give them anything. We got to peak at game time. And when the big kind comes, we got to let the line out of the cage. And that's what we did. They let the Tiger out of the cage and they growled to a 29 to 6 victory over their arch nemesis from Ann Arbor. 29 to 6, the final score. Don't forget, number 7, Miami, number 3, Florida State, coming up tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern on ABC. That's going to wrap it up from East Lansing for Todd Blackledge and Holly Rowe. I'm Brad Nessler as we send it to the studio and John Saunders. Spartans over the Wolverines.